Indian giver. <laughs> and then what about that tar stuff you keep rubbing into your hair that smells up my whole bedroom? Well, I'm only trying to keep my hair for you, and you're a fine one to talk. Go into bed with a head full of aluminum clips. Every time I woke up, I expected to find the government had turned you into an airplane. <laughs> You won't have to worry anymore, dearie. Well, I'm not going to stand for this, and that's my last word on it. Well, it's nice to have met you. All right, I'm not going to support you. How do you like that? Fine. I'm serious. I'm not going to give you any money. Fine. Never like asking you for money anyway. It was embarrassing watching you take off your shoe. You keep... (laughs) Right here, driver. I want you to know I'm doing this reluctantly. Well, that suits me. Here, driver, keep the change. Thanks, lady. You're not very practical. How do you think you're going to live? And your old lady, how is she going to live? Look, Mr. Smith, you see that department store? Well, since yesterday morning, I've been employed in good standing. They pay me every Saturday. Goodbye, Mr. Smith. Oh, wait. Listen, Ann. <laughs> uh, good morning, sir. Are you looking for something? Oh, yes, I am. Uh, can I help you, sir? Yes, she's about five feet... No, I'll find it myself. Uh, I might be able to save you a lot of trouble. I'm very well acquainted with the merchandise. Oh, thanks, but I'd rather find it myself. You just run along and water your carnation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're embarrassed. Is it something in ladies' lingerie? Yes, it's something in ladies' lingerie. <laughs> well, well, you go right down the aisle... Now, don't tell me it's a game <laughs> oh, I'm playing. Oh, it's perfectly all right, sir. <laughs> perfectly, sir. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Good morning. Anything I can do for you? Ann, are you crazy standing all day on your feet for $18 a week? Will you please do me a favor and come home? I've got a cake in the oven. (laughs) I'm sorry, sir. I think you have the wrong department. We have nothing here for you. Are you walking out of here peacefully, or do I have to carry it? The manager's looking. Can I show you something else, sir? All right, I'll carry you. Here. Mm. All right, I'll drag you. Get away from me. You're coming home. You're nothing but a silly little... Don't let go. You can't take me out of here. That's that shoplifting. Come on. Miss Krausheimer. Miss Krausheimer. What are you doing to the customer? I'm not doing anything. Look who's got who. Sorry, sir, but I'll have to ask you to release our sales clerk. You want to try to make me release her? Well, if you're not pleased with this clerk, I'll be happy to get you another. I'm pleased with her, and she's no clerk. She's my wife. Your wife? I am not. Uh, Miss Krausheimer, we understood you were a single woman. As an aid to the unemployment situation, it is our policy not to employ married women. Good idea. I am not married. She's married, all right. Did you ever see a single woman that could fight like this? Come on. <laughs> Mr. Fogel, believe well, me. Well, we'll have to take this up with the head of the department. No, we don't. This way. Let me alone. Oh, this is a showcase. Be careful. <laughs> oh, are, are you hurt? No, but this is the first time I ever wore a corset for a hat. <laughs> go to take. Go to take. Quick. Quick. Now get out and stay out and don't come back in this store again. That goes for the both of you. Well, I'm fine. Are you satisfied now? Listen, I have an appointment in the office at 2 o'clock. Are you going to make up with me? No, I'm not going to make up with you ever. For heaven's sakes, Ann, what do you want? I had a chance to get out of our marriage, didn't I? But now I want to get back. Doesn't that convince you I still want to be married to you? I'm very flattered, but I don't want to marry you. Put the whole thing over, and I'm not interested. Well, what's the matter with me? Well, I don't like your temper. You're too jealous. You're always knocking people down. Oh, now, wait. If you're referring to last New Year's Eve, that midget had no Move right along, to... Move along, ma'am. Move along. Just a minute, officer. You heard what I said. Move along. You're blocking traffic. Why don't you go someplace and steal an apple? Go on. Hit him, why don't you? <laughs> Knock him down. Go on. Madam... I wouldn't advise your friend to hit a cop in this town. But I'm on your side, officer. I don't even know this man. Oh, you don't, huh? She does so. She's married to me illegally. (laughs) Run along, buddy. Go visit Columbus Circle. Listen, you run before I run you and beat it. Oh, bully. I postponed the Amanda case for you, David, and uh, I set back the Duffy hearing. Oh, that's fine. Just fine, Jeff. Thanks. Uh, David, uh, I'd like to ask you to do something. Oh, well, what is anything at all? Well, uh, I'd like you to drop in at your own home tonight uh, after dinner. Well, what do you mean? Well, I've taken matter in my own hands. Uh, I've asked Anne to have me to dinner. <laughs> She's fond of me, and she knows I'm fond of her, and, well, I think I can straighten it out. Uh, I hope it is something I can straighten out. 
Oh, why, certainly it was nothing. One of those little domestic squabbles. It was really nothing. I imagined it was that. Why, you're too fine to do anything, shoddy. Oh, thanks, Jeff. I want you to just drop in unannounced at about, uh, shall we say, nine o'clock? Oh, Jeff, I can't speak. It's just like my Adam's apple had four sons. <laughs> well, that's all right, David. Jeff, you're the best friend a man ever had. We've been closer together than Gene Autry and his guitar. <laughs> well, we're partners, David. You're the best law partner a man ever had. We were school chums. And you were the best fullback Alabama ever had. I always said Hinkle was a greater back, but I was wrong. Hinkle couldn't touch you. Thanks, David. Thanks. <laughs> In here, Mr. Smith. Oh, thanks. Mr. Smith, madam. Hello, David. Oh, hello, Jeff. Oh, hello, Ann. How are you, dear? Talk to my lawyer. Your lawyer? What lawyer? Oh, Ann's asked me to represent her in this matter, David. Well, what for? Oh, I've been telling her she doesn't need a lawyer. Oh, well, I'll say she doesn't. <laughs> because as I understand the facts, you two aren't legally married at all. There you are. What? So there's nothing for the court to decide. This happened before in Peterson versus Peterson, and Jeff says even the Supreme Court threw it out. Jeff, what's the matter with you? You he said... said you were lucky this isn't for Sarton, that I'm not his sister. What? Now, David, uh... why, you hillbilly ambulance chaser... You Blackstone blackguard, wait till the Bar Association hears about this. If I open the window, they will. There's no need losing our tempers. We're married, if not legally, then morally, and there is such a thing as common law, you know. I don't deny there's a kind of common law relationship between you. Thank you. Get a whole thing, Jeff. However, the woman is given the benefit of any difficulties arising out of such a relationship. For instance, should you die, as a wife, she is entitled to share in the husband's estate. Well, why should she wait? I'll give her one room of furniture and my pivot tooth now. <laughs> Furthermore, should the woman care to halt this relationship and marry someone else, she is entitled to do so. Peterson versus Peterson, Adams versus Kelly, and Gimble versus New Pennsylvania Coal Company. I didn't know they were going together. You're supposed... <laughs> You're supposed to be my best friend and you tell her a thing like that? David, I have never taken advantage of our friendship by word or deed. And it's only because you're standing here that I can now ask Anne... Anne, would you care to have dinner with me tomorrow night? Where, Jeff? And don't go with him. Come to dinner with me. I'll spare no expense. You can name your own drive-in. <laughs> Where shall we go, Jeff? Anne, I'm asking you to come to your senses and marry me tomorrow. If you have dinner with him tomorrow instead, well, this is final. We're through. What time, Jeff? All right, we're through, Anne. From now on, we're just friends. Just ships that pass in the night. And if Jeff is ever with you, make sure he's convoyed. Well, that's... <laughs> that, that's not necessary. The store club, all right, Jeff? Anywhere you say. I'll call for you at eight. <laughs> That'll be fine. Good night. Good night. Good night, Anne. Good night. Well, David? Comparing yourself with Hinkle as a football player. You couldn't carry Hinkle's water bucket. <laughs> Sorry you feel that way, old man. Good night. On second thought, maybe you could, you two-quart drip. <laughs> Elevator boy, ma'am. Sure enough. Sure enough, elevator boy. <laughs> Fooled you, huh? Yeah, but the boy's name is O'Brien. Oh! My nose, my nose! What's the matter? You hit my nose with a door. So I did. It's bleeding, too. Good night. <laughs> Well, now, I'll tell you. When a man comes to the club for one night, that's nothing. When he comes back all week, that's trouble. Go ahead, Dave. Take another drink. Hey, Benson, are you sure this is good for nosebleed? Oh, best thing. I always use it, but then, I don't know, I use it for everything. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I got to make a call. I'm kind of a dummy, you know? Uh-huh. The worst thing I could do is chase her. I don't have a week or ten days without me. After ten days with her mother, even I'll look good. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's used to me. She can never even get to sleep until I get home. I'm just her big box of Ovaltine. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Gloria. Well, hiya, Gloria. Oh, yeah, and I'm, I'm kissing you back. <laughs> huh? Jimmy? This is no Jimmy. This is Jackie. Yeah, wonderful girl, Dave. Society girl. Real class. Hey, say, Gloria, how about tomorrow night? That a girl. Listen, um... I got a friend. How about Gertrude? Oh, you like Gertrude, Dave. Me? Gertrude? Oh, this is a great fella, Gloria. Society fella, real class. Uh, put Gertie on. Say, I don't think I better... Uh... Oh, now, don't be a sap. She's beautiful. Hello, Gertie. Listen, I got you a great little dinner partner for tomorrow night, but he, 
kind of needs cheering up, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, here, she wants to talk to you, Dave. Oh, me? Well, <laughs> oh, hello, Gertie. Hey, she's kissing at me. <laughs> Kiss her back. Well, I don't know her. Oh, it's off her laugh. She's a great kid. Oh, well. <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, how can you tell you're crazy about me? Oh, it's just an average voice. <laughs> yes, I used to sing a little. <laughs> Give me the phone. Uh, what did I tell you, Gertie, huh? Great fella, huh? Eight o'clock? Where shall we make it, Dave? A store club. How about the store club? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>